Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to discuss about the automatic invoicing in Odoo 17 sales module. Automatic invoicing is a process of configuring invoice process for a customer. It is very important to configure an invoice when selling a product or services. A customer gets notified of the product quantity, price from an invoice and it is easy to get the total price of the product from an invoice. So, sometimes the customers may purchase the item from online and they do make payment from the online itself. In such cases, we formulate automatic invoice. So, in simple words, we can say that when a customer confirms a payment through online, we do generate automatic invoices. So, let's see how can we manage automatic invoices in Odoo 17 sales module. So, here we go with the automatic invoicing in Odoo 17. For that, you can just get into the sales module and here, just go to the configuration settings and we have to enable the automatic invoicing as well as the online payment and online signature from the configuration settings of Odoo 17 sales module. So when you just drag down here, you would be able to find the automatic invoice that would generate the invoice automatically when the online payment is confirmed. And um, if you want to just set an email um, template here you can set the um, invoice template that you need to send as well as you also need to enable the online signature that request an online signature to confirm the orders and here we also need to set an online payment that request an online prepayment from your customer to confirm your orders and you can ask them to fully payment the order a partial payment with a down payment so here uh, we have just enabled this and you need to save the changes from the configuration settings. Afterwards, you also need to set a payment provider. So payment provider are nothing but they are the payment method or the payment channel that we use to make payment. So here I'll be choosing demo as my payment. So here this is already published and you can set the state as um, test mode. And here you can also set a payment a journal, which is bank. Now let's move on to the orders. Um, and let's choose the customer. So we have just received an order from the customer Deco Addict. So for that, first we have to just grant the uh, portal access for the customer Deco Addict. So let me just uh, grant the portal access. So here you can choose the um, yeah uh, mail uh, of the customer. So let me grant the access. So here you can see uh, we are going to grant the access. So once you grant the access, just close this wizard and let's move on to the settings of Odoo where you can find uh, the users and you can manage the users. So here, let me uh, just remove those and you can see that as we have just uh, given the portal access to the customer, um, the portal uh, user can be viewed over here. And here you can see that the user type is set to portal. And in order to view the user type, you also uh, need to enable the developer mode and you can view that. Now, let me, um, yeah, uh, change the password of the customer. So, let me change the password of the customer into, and I have just set a new password and let me change that. And let's copy the email because we need that in order to log in. Um, as the portal user. Now, uh, let's go to the uh, sales module and let's create an order for the customer. So we have just received uh, receive an order from the customer. So uh, ensure that uh, the customer we have chosen is right with the customer that we have given the portal access. So we have just received, um, yeah, an order for bacon burger with 10 quantity and when you just receive this, you have to keep in quotation itself. So we can just uh, save this and send this by email. Okay. So we have just sent uh, the quotation to the customer. So let's send. So we are just generating an automatic invoice. So upon uh, the signature and online payment only, this order will be confirmed. Now let's uh, log out from Michelle Edmund and load login as the portal user. So here you can see that uh, the quotation is currently sent. Now you can just log out 
and let's log in as the user here you can provide the email as well as you can also set the password of the uh, customer and now log in so as you log in you can see that here we have one quotation to review so as you choose a quotation here you would be able to find the total price with its all the uh, reference number the date and the valid until date that is the expiration date now you can choose a quotation so as you choose a quotation you can just make a sign and pay and here also you can just make uh, a sign and pay from here also now the customer is going to confirm the order by signing and paying so let's uh, make a signature you can just auto generate or draw or upload a signature now let's accept and sign this and we are going to confirm which means the portal user is going to confirm the order so let's click on accept and sign and the order is not in a state and yeah now we are going to just validate the order now you can just pay this and finally you would be able to see that we are processing the payment and we need to just wait for a while to get the result oh yes we have just uh, confirmed our order successfully and we have just received a message of your payment has been successfully processed now um let's log out and log in as uh, admin and let's close this under the sales mm, you can see the sale it has moved to the sale order because we have just made uh, the payment through the online as we have just made the payment through online and we have given the signature order will automatically move the quotation sent into the sales order so this is how we manage with the automatic invoice in order a company automatically improvises the invoicing procedure in Odo 17 sales module. The growth of the business paves through the invoice management. So hope this concept is clear for you. As always, stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.